Hello from Gardening at Duenza here in Ireland and today I have a very special treat for you. We're going to visit Terra Nova Garden in County Limerick, home of the fairies. And I suppose what's really special and remarkable about this amazing garden is that it's geared to two types of audiences. It's geared to parents, to adults who are really plantaholics and love to see a beautiful garden and love to see unusual plants. But it's also geared towards their children, small children who love the magical. Now, when you visit this magical garden, you'll have with you a little booklet that gives the whole history, the whole story of how the fairies came here to live in Terra Nova Garden. This is the Mouse Garden, which is beside Rabinia Mountain. And legend has it that people travel from all over Terra Nova to see it. And then they wonder why they bothered. But I knew this garden from before it became a fairy garden. And I used to come here to visit my friend Deborah Begley and look at her amazing collection of plants. And I think you can get an idea already of how varied and interesting the array of flora here in the garden is. You may be surprised to learn that one of Deborah's original interests was in Arasima. Now, Arasima are wonderful plants that really look like carnivorous pitcher plants, although they're not, of course. They're aroids. And instead of turning to the dark side, I think it's safe to say that Deborah actually turned to the bright side in turning away from Arasima and turning towards the fairy world. And looking around this amazing garden and the level of detail that's gone into it, it'll come as no surprise to learn that for a long time, this garden was number one in TripAdvisor's top 10 things to do in Limerick, which is quite surprising considering the small size of this garden. It's just half an acre. That's about a quarter of a hectare. And also considering the number of interesting things to do in Limerick, according to the literature, this is the Grindle a secret passageway to the fairy fort in the field beyond and humans may not enter it only hoblins now did you ever wonder where hoblins sleep let's have a look inside their house and let's check if they made their beds because sometimes they're just in such a rush to get out in the morning and see the sunrise that they simply forget Needless to say, this is a garden that can be looked at in various ways. Either from the perspective of a small child rushing from one fairy outcrop to the next, or from the perspective of a gardener, a plantaholic, a plant lover, just appreciating the beauty of the garden and the interesting array of plants here at our disposal. What a fantastic bean tree, the catalpa in full flower. They are so beautiful. But that reminds me of the tale of a certain troll, Bert the troll. And they have to keep this poor fellow in a cage. It's not because he's bad, it's just that he eats wood. And if they let him out, well, he'd just eat all the trees in Terra Nova. So when you pass by his cage, you need to check that he's still locked up leaving behind that beautiful rose summer song, if I'm not mistaken, we're going to travel down this path. And just when you think it's going to be a feast for the adults, yet more fairy stuff. And this was really, really small. I had to zoom right in to get an idea of the detail. And that brings us to the lawn of serenity, where few fairies are visible. That's because they like to play in the shadows and there are a few shadows here. Okay, in case you're thinking of quitting this video now at this point, I just want to tell you that the best has yet to come. If you really want to see how magnificent this garden is, we've yet to see the Thai house and the pond and the fabulous large planting all the way around it. So stay tuned.
I should mention also at this point that there's a shop in Terra Nova and all of the fairy paraphernalia that you've seen in this video is for sale there. So it makes wonderful Christmas presents for those little people in your lives. And they do mail order as well. So check out the website at the beginning and end of this video. That's www.terranova.com. At this point I'll remind you once again that this garden is just half an acre, a quarter of a hectare. There's so much I want to say about this amazing garden and how you can see different things if you come in different seasons. We'd missed the majority of the Arasima when I was here this time round. But, you know, there's so many other plants there visible, not to mention all this fantastic fairy stuff. And Deborah, so knowledgeable and such a great mentor to me when I was starting out. It was her that first got me interested in growing arasema from seed, even though they take a full seven years to get to flowering size. And here we get a little glimpse of the creator of this masterpiece. It's Deborah Begley herself sneaking off there between the bushes and not realising that she's in this video. Let's check out some of those arasema leaves because leaves is basically what we get in summer. And look at the size of them. They're enormous. Nothing to see here, just some little piggy wigs going about their daily business. And what have we here? I found an arasema in flower. Maybe it's consanguinium, I'm not really sure, but wow, it looks fantastic, doesn't it? And this here is Bradshaw the wizard and he's telling a tale as old as time itself to the woodland creatures. And here on top of this little hut can you see how the roof is all planted up? Now at one year they grew their vegetables up there because they had no space left in the garden with all the ornamentals and that's where the salad crop went. But I see there are ornamentals up there again this year. And here we have a glance at the exterior of the fairy shop. So don't forget to check out that website. But I just thought you'd like to have a look at a bit of Deborah's passion for exotics because she really loves anything that's unusual and large and exotic and colorful. And you can really see that with these fabulous pot displays. Aren't they amazing? And I can tell you I didn't come away empty handed either. And I'm going to link at the end to the video I made when I came back from my trip to Terra Nova and with just some of the plants that Deborah gave me. This plant here is Impatiens tinctoria, a fabulous, giant, exotic, rare plant here in Ireland anyway. Right, now here we go. I said I'd kept the best for last. And here it is. Just follow me into this section of the garden. It's what Deborah calls her main part of the garden, as if what we'd been looking at for the last ages was a main. And look at the exotic planting. It's just heaven, absolute paradise.
And here we are looking out from the Thai house. So many happy days, so many happy parties and get togethers and meetings here in this wonderful, wonderful place on those seats right over there. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this visit to Terra Nova Garden, home of the fairies. I hope you loved visiting it as much as I love visiting it. And please do check out Deborah's website. And if you're ever in Limerick, do not miss out on this wonder. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.